Hey everybody, Bobby Ginto here, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me this time to play uh, another game that I've gotten on a Steam sale a long time ago called Limbo. Now, I would have to assume that probably most people have at least heard of this game before. I believe it's on PC, obviously, because I'm playing it, and console, so it's pretty popular, and I think it was cheap to begin with, so that made it, you know, quite accessible to just about anybody that wanted to give it a shot. Um, I picked this game to play because it has a very interesting uh, art style. I really liked it a lot. It basically uses two colors, the black, black and white, similar to what you see here. Um, so I saw a couple screenshots, wanted to give this another try. I believe it's a puzzle game. Uh, I think it uh, uses the keyboard, so it's not a point to click, but uh, you basically use the arrow keys to walk around, and I think you have one button to cause some action. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, what the heck, we're just going to play it, see how it goes, and uh, let's get into it. Now, right away, it feels like I'm watching some kind of old movie from the 1930s. That's a, my initial impression. It's very dark, very dreary. And uh, I think I can see, likely, the character I'm about to play, I think, laying down in the grass here. So I think I pressed the button, and now it's obvious that he's opened his eyes up. Seems to be in some kind of forest. Not sure what we're doing here. And he's slowly getting up. All you can see is <laughs> his eyes. Only black and white. So... Alright, I'm just using the arrow keys to go back and forth. So, let's... <laughs> look at the color contrast, I love it. He's obviously much brighter here in the open, and uh, much darker here in the in the shade. So, uh... <laughs> Alright. I just stepped on something, and it exploded. I hope that wasn't important. Pretty interesting sound effects. It sounds really sounds like I'm deep within a giant forest, as you can tell by the enormous trees in the background here. So, all right. Apparently, we're what seems to be a small child, a small boy, and uh, oh, we can jump as well. <laughs> so let's just uh, run along here and see what happens. Looks to be some sort of tree a fallen tree. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and jump off. <laughs> oh gosh. And oh, <laughs> apparently that was not a good idea. Oh my god, I died. Okay. <laughs> apparently you can die in this game. That's nice. Alright, let me take this a little bit slower. Uh, that was a little more controlled descent to that time. Oh, that doesn't look very good in there. Will I die if I run into this? Oh, oh dear. It's quite clear we've answered that question. That that looked pretty brutal, to be honest. Alright, so we've learned two things. Don't jump off high things and expect to live. And uh, don't accidentally fall into pits of spikes, because that's not going to end up any better. Alright, so we successfully jumped over that one. And, uh, this is to be some kind of mine cart. Pushing on it. Okay. If I hold in the action button, quote unquote, apparently I can then push and pull this. <laughs> it's apparently tied to. Looks like some kind of old mining equipment or something, and apparently I can climb up here, so. Oh, the camera is adjusting for us. I am hoping we can slide slide down this rope. Oh dear. Oh, well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> Jeez, this game is a. Uh, it shows no mercy. You just unceremoniously fall to your death. 
and then you kind of lay there for a few seconds, so you have to live with your decision. Man, this is a... I don't know if unique is the right word, because I'm sure this isn't the first game to ever do something like this, but I would say the art is magnificent, even though it's not illustrious hand-drawn sceneries, but more so, more is less. No, less is more. Less is more, in this case. So I guess I'm going to try to hop down here. And I don't know what's in the bottom there, so that's probably worth avoiding. Oh, but I wanted to check it out anyway. And apparently that was water. <laughs> and apparently our little friend can't swim. Good to know. We're learning as we go, folks. We're learning as we go. So, avoid pits if you aren't sure what's in them, which I guess is pretty good advice for real life, as well as the video game world. And, okay. It just happens to be a mysterious, magical looking boat. Just waiting for us to jump into, apparently. And sail across this very undetailed body of water. No lack of fog, that's for sure. No lack of fog on this, what looks to be a lake, because there are some cattails in the bushes here. Alright. Well, I've made it to the other side. And, uh, I feel like there has to be a puzzle or something soon. I'm just kind of running around. And maybe this is it. Maybe this is the first, uh, puzzle, so to speak, because it seems like I can't jump up onto that ledge. So maybe I can drag the boat over. And apparently that seems correct. Don't crush myself, hopefully. And let's try to use that to jump up, and we did with no problem. And now a quick up arrow press, and we're climbing up some sort of stock and uh, we're gonna try to jump over and grab this easy peasy lemon squeezy and so far so good you know I don't know where we're headed or why we're headed there we're just making our way through this forest we woke up in and that looks like a bear trap that definitely looks like a bear trap <laughs> See, if I probably tried to jump over that, I likely wouldn't have made it. But my guess is now that I've separated them, I should be able to make it over each one individually. And that is indeed the case. And look at these little firefly guys we got hanging out. I used to love to catch fireflies and put them in those clear lanterns. And that is nasty looking. That looks like a, like a rotting porcupine or something. We have to use that to... Oh dear. Can I drop down or is that water? No, I can drop down apparently. Oh god! Oh, I did not see that coming. <laughs> that actually made me jump. Oh jeez. Alright. Oh, apparently there's a bear trap there. And, uh... I guess it was probably visible all along, but I certainly didn't see it the first time around. If we climb on up, climb on up. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. We're probably gonna... For some reason, I feel like we need to get our... our fallen porcupine friend to get snagged in that bear trap by doing just that. And now we'll be able to, I'm guessing leap over to this cliff. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, folks. Now we're entering a uh, bit of a cave system. Maybe? It looked like it there for a second. And uh, 
Okay. Looks like there's another fallen tree. But it doesn't look like it's on the ground. It looks like it's balancing. And... Oh, God. <sighs> okay, and I was right to think it was balancing. Because it was. And we had to pull a little Indiana Jones escape maneuver to get past that giant boulder that for some reason was just ready to fall down the hill at us. So far, so good. At least the deaths are uh, not too penalizing. You kind of die and you learn your lesson and you get another chance. You only start just a few feet before you where you did happen to die. And this sounds like a nasty place. Lots of flies and... Well, if we learned anything, it's that I'll drown if I get in too deep. Right? Oh, gosh. So... Oh, man, I did just that. So, for some reason, our little friend here is uh, completely 100% unable to swim. He just immediately dies if the water gets above his shoulders. Which, I guess, that's just the way it goes. But let's see if we can... Not sure what we're supposed to do. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> this poor kid. I'm assuming we have to use this box to somehow get across the little area of water here, but for some reason there seems to be like a tide, or a current rather. See if I push the box out, it kind of just slowly comes back to where it was. Oh, brother. Um, okay. And... Uh, <laughs> this poor kid. Bites the dust yet again. Um, Alright, maybe we're supposed to climb up this vine. That looks pretty pretty reasonable of a thing to want to do, right? So why don't we use the quote action button and drag this darn thing over to the tree that has the vine. That seems probably like a more interesting thing than, aha, than just drowning over and over, right? Uh-oh. Glad I didn't hurt myself. Um, can we get some momentum here? I'm kind of not sure what the plan is yet. I'm guessing we have to get to the branch there. And success. And likely back up onto this one. Success. And let's just keep the train going, I guess. Where there's obvious places to jump, let's jump. And uh, where there's obvious places to tip a tree over. Let's tip a tree over. And I love the, uh, the sound of the leaves here, rustling in the wind. That's one thing this game really has going for itself so far is, uh, all these great sound effects. I wonder if they made their own sound effects or if they, uh, you know, kind of bought them all or I wonder how they did that. And I saw this vine, so we're going to swing on it, and we're going to try to jump over to this. Uh-oh. And I apparently have... <laughs> apparently I've gotten an achievement from smashing that egg. I kind of feel bad if I had known it was an egg. I, I may not have smashed it, to be quite honest. So, alright. Let's, uh, gingerly get back to where we were, because if I jump from this tree, I'm sure that's not going to really work out too hot for me. So I'm guessing we, uh... Oh! oh. I thought that was the end of me. I'm guessing uh, we pushed over this log, and uh, that's probably how we're going to get Cross. So let's do just that. Leap of faith. Ah, uh, we made it. 
Not bad. All right, we're getting into some actual puzzles here. First couple minutes was kind of just easy going, but that, that one took a little bit of thought. A little bit. There's obviously a uh, bear trap in the tree. And that makes me wonder if there's any bears. Because there sure are a lot of bear traps. And holy crap, it's a spider? Oh my god. That shook the whole forest floor. Uh. Uh. Hey, what's up? Oh, oh god. Ooh. Listen to that sound. Like the bass is overwhelming. Assuming that this can't work out well for Oh god! Get up! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, meanwhile, I was worried about bears. Apparently, I should have been worried about giant spiders. Okay. Well, first things first, I bet that. I bet that trap is gonna fall out of that tree the more times I make him slam the ground. So why don't you slam the ground? <laughs> See, it's already falling. Come on, bud. One more time, then. You giant, nasty spider. Oh. Ha 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 Let's jump over it. And then hopefully start pushing it towards our new found enemy. And, uh, well, this is going to be too easy, right? Maybe position it just a little better. Oh! Okay. Apparently it can slide through your feet and then get you. Let's, uh, let's take that a little slower this time, maybe. Just a tad bit slower. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently, uh, my initial plan of just getting to the other side of this and then pushing it forward was probably a better idea. Okay, well... This might take a little fast action. Because he's going to want to pound the ground, like right here. And, uh. <laughs> and I put the bear trap right where he was going to pounce. And that's one leg, I guess. If he's a true spider bro, he's got seven more to go. I'd rather him just learn his lesson. And I wouldn't have to break all of his legs. Oh! Jesus! I know it's coming and it's still nerve-wracking. I'm like jumping every time something terrible happens here. Alright. Alright, alright. Now we have to do this all over again. It's kind of a bummer. That's one. Come on, bro. Two. And now the third one came quick. Ah! Third one came pretty quick. Ooh. Come on. Oh, dear. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh dear. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Third time's a charm, and uh, this jerk has ran away with his tail between his legs. <sighs> well, so far, so far we've survived falling off of logs, spike traps, drowning, not falling out of trees, bear traps, and now, for some reason, a giant spider. Well, not sure exactly what to think of this game quite yet, but seems interesting. So I'd call this a pretty decent first intro episode to the game Limbo. I, I have to admit, I'm only stopping the video because it's at about 20 minutes, not because I want to stop playing. 
So I hope to see you guys next time in the next episode. We'll see you then.